Hey everybody, this is Max Prime. Um, I'm out here at Tampa Bay MegaCon, and I stopped by the lovely booth of Marie Claude Barbonnet. Uh, Marie, this costume here is the Flash, as we know, or Jesse Quick. How did you come up with this costume? This is so amazing. I, I, like you told me, you made the actual uh, the mask and everything. So what did it take to just do this amazing costume? Well, I just bought a 3D printer, so the helmet was a 3D model by a guy uh, called Deutsch Props. He's from the UK. I've been collaborating with him uh, for a while, and I'm very satisfied with his work so far. And then with my 3D printer, I could have this all printed, and I'm using a very fine uh, body filler that they use for a miniature, and I, I use a lot of body filler. It's sanded, uh, like water sanded. I don't know if it makes sense in English. When you sand under the water, uh, until it's all shiny, all perfect, um, you sand it until it, it looks like fiberglass, so you don't see the little 3D printing pattern anymore, and then you can paint it. So that was about about the helmet. The only thing that I, that was store bought was the, the visor. It's from a store that sells stuff for, um, uh, how, what, how was it like, uh, paintball? Yes. That type of stuff. Yes, so yes. that's the only store bought thing in, in, in the costume. Okay. And the shoes were... Um, Look at the shoes. The shoes are awesome. Plain red boots. I was lucky enough to find uh, a red that was matching the color of the latex, so all the, the yellow details were added by me. So those are the two little things that were bought and what I modified after that. And, and the costume is like made from scratch and latex. Well, how long have you been doing the cosplay thing? Like how long have you been on the scene? Uh, I discovered cosplay in 2009 with a photo shoot of Ross from Mortal Kombat. I didn't know what cosplay was at that time. I was just a Mortal Kombat fan and I was already a costume maker. Mortal Kombat? Yeah. Like, who's your favorite character in Mortal Kombat? Oh, it, it's definitely Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Nice. I like I like my basic Mortal Kombat characters. I like the core of the game. At core, some yeah. point they came up with a lot of different characters, but I love the fact that they came back to the roots. Yes. So, like, Scorpion and Sub Zero, and I'm totally happy with those. But I was a huge Mortal Kombat fan, and I was already known from the public as a model. It's just that people didn't know that I had studied in fashion design and that I was making costumes for a living at that time, at the same time, than the modeling thing. I've been sewing all my life, basically. So we just did the frost costume, we took it in picture, it was different than lingerie and, and swimsuit, we were happy, we published the pictures online, and this is people's reaction to those pictures that made me wonder why, why people were so excited about that. How come that those pictures and costumes were as popular or even more popular than my regular lingerie pics. And this is how I found out that dressing up as a character had a name, that it was called cosplay, that there were conventions. I had never heard of that before. Cosplay wasn't really well known in Quebec at that time. So uh, the next year, 2010, I started attending conventions and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how did you like find like the Flash costume? How did you just all of a sudden say, I just want to be the Flash? That specific costume, it's when they released the uh, Amikami figurine. Oh, yes, and yes, I yes. love that costume. I thought that it would be perfect to be done in latex. And I haven't done a latex costume uh, in a while. I, From time to time, I want to uh, update my skills. I want to make sure that I, I still remember how to work with this material or this material. So since I was uh, a guest for three conventions in October, I wanted to make a new costume. And latex, once you get the touch, is a little bit faster than regular fabric. So I was like, oh, that would be the perfect time to do that. A make me version of, of Jesse Quick that I had noticed so many years ago. Yeah. And truth is that I, I knew that there was a, a flash show on TV, but I, I don't have a lot of time to watch TV. <laughs> so I had absolutely no idea that they had just unveiled Jesse Quick. So it looks like it was all planned and it's actually <laughs> totally un I'm trendy and it was not it was not expected. So awesome. <laughs> like what advice would you give to like upcoming cosplayers who, you know, again who pay attention to, you know, again like trending things, like you know, working on costumes, like what's what's the advice to give to like to be successful in the cosplay industry? Oh I have very, very basic tricks and you're gonna think that they are they, they look stupid, but believe me, they are worth it. The very first, if you want to get into cosplay, just start with a, char a character that you love. Because okay. if you, w it's always easier to stay motivated when you work on something that you like. So if you choose a character that you don't love that much, but you think that you, you will be able to build the costume and you meet some problems, and you're gonna just give it a, you, you're just gonna give up okay. and you're gonna get discouraged. At least if you love the character, you will be more motivated to continue. Then start with a simple costume. I know it sounds like this, the more stupid tips you can think of, but I mean, 
when I started sewing when I was 19, I didn't know how to sew. So I've, I've been through all those challenges. So believe me, it helps a lot. Start with something simple, finish it, and then move on to something a little bit more complicated. If you, if you start with something more complicated, saying that's an ambitious project and I want to do it, you will encounter some problems and you will just give up. So start yeah. by something simple. And, and the last trick, it's a technical trick, but it's the best trick that I can give you, always make mock-ups. Mock-ups is like a prototype. Yeah. It's like um, a, a first try that you do, you test your pattern in, in a cheap fabric. And it's sad because it, it costs a little bit of money and it takes time. It's really like doing your costume for real, but in a cheap version of your fabric. And you're gonna throw it away after, but you really need to make sure that your pattern is all perfect and that everything is as you want it to be. Yeah. And then you can modify your pattern, make all the adjustments, make another mock-up, make the adjustments until your pattern is perfect. And, and then you can cut your, your pieces of pattern, your real fabric or, or in your foam or do your armor or whatever you want, but always run tests before. Even I, when I make a, a pattern, after all these years of experience, yeah. nothing is never perfect on the first try, never. It never happens. <laughs> so always run tests before and you're gonna be very happy not to waste any material, not to waste that super expensive fabric that you bought. So run tests before. As for a real cosplay career, my answer is gonna surprise you but I, I don't like those words like professional cosplayer yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that like the, the final result is not important you can be a teenager and do costumes with very limited resources yeah. if you have fun with your friends that's okay I have too many fingers on one hand to really count the girls who are making a living out of cosplay in North America and those are exceptions yeah. cosplay it, it's not a job it, it should remain a hobby it should remain something that you like however you can be a professional costumer that is something different. I don't consider myself as a professional cosplayer. I'm yeah. a professional costume maker. Yeah. That's what I do for a living. I'm making costumes and props. And through cosplay, I can make those skills well known. Because in Quebec, yeah. nobody would know that I'm making costumes if I wasn't <laughs> making cosplay. So yeah. I'm a professional costume maker. And if you want to be a professional costume maker, those tips are going to help you. So that's the little difference that I make between the, the two. I, I love making costumes. I'm, I am impressed when I see teenagers and young kids yeah. getting into cosplay and they, they're trying to sew by themselves. And it, it, it touches me a lot because those are jobs that are disappearing right now. Yeah. There are no tailors, no seamstresses anymore yeah. in, 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 in North America. Uh, it's something that you will find more in Europe. So to see young people getting interested into sewing, this is the real important thing. I'm very sad when I see kids like doing that popularity contest on the social medias and they yeah. all think that they're going to be superstars and they all think that they're going to be professional cosplayer when it should just be about do building something that you're proud of. This is what cosplay should be all about. And I, exactly. I may look like the worst person to talk about it because I have a very non-conventional figure. I take advantage of it through the sexy costumes. I get some attention that other girls that don't look like me have. So it's the least that I can do to at least prove that you can make high quality costumes and not to focus on the fact that, how, I don't know how to explain that in English, but I, I, I I on, on, on purpose, I, I just want to remember that the important thing is, is not the final result and it's not the social media, it's just pick up a character that you like, do whatever you, you can to, to do your little costume the best you can and just have fun with your friends. That, that, that is what cosplay should be. So exactly. that, that's the only important thing that I want to share with people. Truth. <laughs> you said a whole lot of truth. That was truth. How do we find you on social media? Um, how do we find you? Um, just Google my name and on my website you're gonna have all the links. I know that I don't have an easy name, so my website is mcorbonet.com. Okay. So just Google my name, forget about the sexy pictures, and you're yeah. gonna you're gonna find my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, uh, and I'm I started writing blogs on my website okay. about how I make the costumes. Okay. I started explaining how, how I made Ragnera, that big spider glass. Uh, that, that big fiberglass spider that I made for Anime Expo. Yes. So this is what I'm 
I'm doing right. I know that there are way more social medias than that, but that, that's what I can manage in 24 hours a day. That, that's what I'm able to do by myself right now. That is awesome. <laughs> to say that you know the Flash a lot and that you think that this is a great interpretation from your point of view, then I'm happy as a costume maker. Yes, it, you, you are definitely the Flash. You are Jesse Quick. <laughs> you are you. awesome. Thank but you. again, thank you. This was Max Prime at Tampa Bay MegaCon 2016 with Jesse Quick.